Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, BakuriBox12 here, and today we're going to be talking about loot and how to get it faster. I'll get this out of the way right now. I do not believe that there is any substitute for hard work. If you put in the effort, you will get results eventually. I'm a firm believer in that. But if you're looking for a system or a format in which you can cut a few corners and just get straight to the point, there are a few tips that I can give for getting loot faster. First and foremost, Sprite Worlds. They're a very easy dungeon, even for unmaxed players to complete. I even made a guide on it, so you can check that out if you really need some help. And they're a guaranteed source of dexterity potions. On their own, they're not super Super valuable, but you can accumulate them and sell two, three, maybe even four for a defense potion if you really want to secure that purchase. Since sprite worlds are fairly common if you just do a little bit of searching, you can keep on repeating this cycle of earning decks and selling them for defense until you have enough defense to max out your character. Once that's done, you can start doing the higher level dungeons, mainly the Abyss of Demons, which I believe to be one of the most plentiful dungeons in the game, because if you get full soulbound on that boss, you're guaranteed a defense and a vitality potion. Do 25 of those, you just maxed out two more stats. Easier said than done, I know the Abyss is a really hard dungeon for new players starting out, but that is still the fastest way to go. In the meantime, you can keep on doing Sprite Worlds to max out your dexterity. Build up dexterity potions, sell them for a different pot. You can even do what's called merching, where you just take one item, keep on trading it for another item, and then trade that for another item. Maybe you get two items, you get a deal from one guy, sell that, sell those items for another thing until eventually you get what you want. The goal there though is to keep on getting deals with people so that way you come out on top of the trade, and then eight hours later you can go from selling a def to owning a a Hydra. It's actually rather entertaining to watch videos on that. At the same time, Sprite Worlds also have a chance of dropping a defense potion at the boss fight. The Sprite Gods found within the dungeon also have a chance of dropping an attack potion, so that's three different pots you could potentially get from just one dungeon. The chances are rather low still, but it is worth it. And the good thing about RPGs is that they kind of have a snowball effect, where it takes really long to just kill the simplest of enemies in the beginning, and as you level up your character and get stronger, you can kill enemies even faster, which ultimately gets you more gear and levels you up faster. So if you can just get past that first awkward area of sluggish gameplay where you aren't getting much done, the game will start to exponentially speed up. But you have to make sure that you don't die. That is the biggest thing here. Dying is very, very punishing. It is a video game though, so I think you already knew that. Also, this one is just kind of a given, but I do feel the need to address it. The more people you have, the faster you will get things done. Get a group of like five friends and start doing dungeons together. It'll make the entire process go by faster because you can kill things faster and you're having a good time. Time flies when you're having fun. Also, do not immediately drink the potions when you get them. Wait until you have the 25 defense, or better yet, have two characters. I know that you only start out with one character slot and one vault chest, so it's literally impossible for you to store 25 def, unless you make a whole bunch of alternate accounts, but if it's worth it to you, do they still have the beginner's pack where the, like you can buy character slots and vaults for like 20 bucks and it's a really good deal or something? I don't know, I haven't. I did it a long time ago. But if you want to make the investment, you can drop like 10, 20 bucks and buy a bunch of vaults and character slots. This way you can use other characters as storage, in addition to having actual vaults to hold all of your pots. Because when you only have 17 def drank, you are not at your maximum durability when you're out on the battlefield. That makes you more susceptible for danger. That makes you have to take time out of fighting to go heal, which takes longer. At the end of the day, guys, it really boils down to three things for me. Doing the right dungeons in the right order, so Sprite World, an abyss, and I don't know, throw a UDL in there somewhere, I don't care. Trading, so using the pots that you get from those dungeons and trading them for the pots that you want or the items that you want, and if you get some loot along the way from a dungeon that you don't need and you just want to sell it, you can do that too. And community. Working as a team to go through the process faster. Help each other out, and I, I know a lot of people have told me that getting friends in Realm is actually surprisingly hard, and wow, I... Dang. But those are the three tips that I can give you that worked for me. Yes, there is always the ultimate shortcut on using real cash to buy items and buy potions on third-party websites. Uh, no. No. Don't do that. No. No! Bad viewer! So that's what I got for you. I really hope that this helped in some way or another. If not, hey, I tried my best. If some people watching this video have a super secret strategy on how to get loot faster, please, Share it with the newbies in the comments below. I'm sure they would just love that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. All right. See ya.